Okay, I'm in the elevator. There's probably nobody up right now, so this is like my safe space to talk. It is November 3rd, 2022, 6.50 a.m., I think. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys through a productive day in my life of a D1 preseason athlete. I think I said all that right. I think, I don't know. I'm going to be putting my schedule up right here so you guys can see everything that I'm going to be doing today. For all of you guys asking what app I use for my scheduling slash organization, I use this app called Todoist. I'll put it right here. This is completely not sponsored, but I absolutely love that app. It's just incredible for like planning, scheduling, organizing your days. I love it so much. I would highly recommend. It's starting to get a little bit lighter out. Right now I'm walking the lift because today and only today, thankfully, we have 7 a.m. lift. Normally every single Wednesday we would have 7 a.m. lift, but they changed it. So now we get to choose our lift blocks. And instead of lifting with the entire team, we only lift with like, I don't know, a handful of girls in the team. So I do kind of miss like lifting as a full team, but being able to sleep in is something so great that I am willing to sacrifice the team aspect for that. But yeah, I had to leave at like 7.50 because my dorm is like pretty far down on South Campus. So I have to walk like full 15 minutes minutes to get to the lift room and the athletic quad so that's where I'm going right now normally when I leave my dorm for the day I just don't come back like I probably won't be back in my dorm tonight until like past 9 p.m which is completely fine I honestly like staying out of my room I like to associate my room with like rest and relaxation whereas like everything outside of my room we're on the grind I never told you all the reason why we're lifting at 7 o'clock this morning the reason why we're lifting at 7 a.m this morning is because we're doing strength testing so they're gonna be testing us right now and then later in the year see how we've improved on monday we did part of this it was like certain jumps the like vertimax thing that like measures how high you can jump and how quickly you can jump and also a trap bar dead weight lift which i literally thought i like completely tore all of my back muscles on but i guess it was just muscle fatigue and i'm embarrassed because i genuinely thought i pulled like every muscle in my back and i like told my coaches and everything i was like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that much at practice today and then once i warmed up i proceeded to feel completely better and do everything so also the other monday at lift i like dropped a weight on my middle finger like a 30 pound weight and i like smashed my finger in between the weight and this like metal bar thing i don't know it's it's never felt the same since okay so we are on our way to our 7 15 a.m lift this does not normally happen but we are so lucky this week to do this. Um, and we're doing some strength testing this week with our coach, Rob. Shout out to Rob. Yes, <laughs> she loves Rob. <laughs> Hello guys, it is me from the future. I just wanted to come in here really, really quickly and talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Native. Thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love you guys. So if you guys aren't familiar with Native, Native is this brand that produces these deodorants, body washes, and skincare products. Their slogan is clean, simple, and effective, and that is exactly what Native is. Right here, I just have three of their deodorants. I used this lilac one in my morning routine part of the video. All of their products are vegan and use easy to understand ingredients. They offer a super wide range of scents. These are the three scents that I have right here. I have sweet peach and nectar. This one just smells so refreshing and like a little hint of sweetness in there and just like clean. I really love this smell. I also got powder and cotton. I feel like this scent is a classic. It smells exactly how the name describes it. And then this is probably my favorite. I have this lilac and white tea deodorant. Just smells so good. It smells like a super bougie hotel's body wash. I don't know how to describe it. It's just such a distinct scent to me. Like it smells like rich. Native's deodorant specifically has received over 15,000 five-star reviews. Something that I've really been trying to be more conscientious of is what I'm putting in and on my body. So whether that be what I'm eating or what products I'm using, anything that comes in like direct contact with my skin, I want to make sure that it's the best thing possible for me. So for example, with Native's paraben and aluminum free deodorant, deodorants. I feel like I have a clear mind putting this product on my body. Their deodorant also applies it very well. It is not sticky and it dries very, very quickly, which is really great for an on-the-go lifestyle like mine. And as mentioned before, they use very familiar products like coconut oil and shea butter that are very simple, but also very effective. Native stays on all day with a 72-hour odor protection. So for all of my athletes, these deodorants are really great for getting you through a super long and sweaty practice. These are only three of their deodorants, but they have a super wide range of other scents that you can choose from. They also really seasonal scents all year round, including one of their newer ones, which is the Naughty and Nice Holiday Collection. Typically, three deodorants would be $39, but with my code Bedell, you'll get them for $26. That is over 33% off. Also, with my code, you can get 20% off all of their body washes and toothpastes. Thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the regularly scheduled video.
Oh no. <laughs> Is there pineapple? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good, right? Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Hey guys, I have yet to find a person that doesn't like my Ivy Room smoothie recipe. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. That was near you. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished practice and I'm currently speed walking to my lab. It's like 5.55 right now and my lab starts at six and I'm like seven minutes away. Onion rings. Yes. That's pretty much a wrap on today. I'm back in my dorm after I ate dinner with Cindy and I came back here because I wanted to shower and then I'm gonna be heading out to a library until probably like midnight and then I'm gonna come back sleep because I have a 9 a.m. the next morning. So I wanna be able to get a decent amount of sleep so I don't get sick. Because I'm kind of like sick right now but it's like not that bad but I wanna make sure that it doesn't like get worse. But anyway, today was pretty chill. I feel like last week for some reason, even though it was the same schedule, felt a little bit crazier, but that was also like our first full week of official practices. This week felt a little bit more manageable, which is good. I kind of designed my schedule. So like Tuesday, Thursdays are super heavy school days. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday are light school days, but heavy gym days. Normally Monday and Wednesdays, I have lift and practice. And then on Wednesdays, I have lift, pit and practice. And then Tuesdays, I just have practice. But yeah, for some reason, my Wednesdays are a little bit offset because there is a decent amount of school in there like I had two sections and a class today but that's nothing like my Tuesday Thursdays because my Tuesday Thursdays I have class from like 9 to noon like two different classes and then I have another class from like 6 40 to 8 which I guess doesn't sound that bad because in high school I literally used to sit through school for like over six hours a day and it was like the norm but for some reason in college it just feels like so much more but anyways that's pretty much a wrap on my day I had a pretty good practice today tonight I'm probably gonna be working on my my Economics piece set. We have two midterms next week, so I'm preparing for Hell Week. This weekend we also have our recruits coming, so I don't know how familiar you guys are with like college and like sports, but recruits are basically the people that are going to be coming to the school next year to do gymnastics. So we have five girls coming in, they're gonna come in on Friday and they're gonna spend the weekend with us and we're gonna get to know the new girls that'll be on our team. And I'm super excited about that, but I'm also kind of stressed because I wanna be able to like study for my midterms and feel prepared and like feel on top of my stuff. But I also wanna get to know all of them. So hopefully I can like find a balance in there. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time like taking you guys along with everything that I was doing today. Um, course registration is coming up in like a week and I'm scared because I feel like I barely started this semester and we're already gonna be finishing it up and then starting a whole new semester with new courses, which is crazy. Feel free to comment down below any questions that you guys have about college, college life, whatever it may be. I will try my very best to get around to answering them. I loved hanging out with you guys today. I think vlogging casually is so much fun because it's just, I, I love looking back on the videos because I was looking back on my first semester, second semester of college videos for my freshman year and it was just so cool to see where I was at. Also, if you guys were wondering what class 
classes I ever settled on because I don't think I ever fully updated y'all. I'm taking Margaret Research, which was the one that I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna take this in my first day of class vlog. My other three are, my second one is Public Policy, which I'm taking for my writ requirement. It's basically like my writing requirement. You have to take a writing requirement like every four semesters at your time here, so that's not bad at all. But I just wanted to get it out of the way before I got to my in-season grind because that's something different. Third class, microeconomics. Fourth class, econometrics. Both econ requirements. I think that's all I had to say. I, I'm like thinking because I'm like, hmm, I want to keep talking, but there isn't much more to say about anything. I love you guys so much, and I hope you're having a great year so far. And I will be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.